Hey everyone, it's Hunter here from Alan Astro Photography. Yeah, it's been a little bit since my last video, but a lot has happened since then. Well, for one thing, I had lost my voice for about a good week and a half, all because I had strep throat. And on top of that, losing a very close companion of mine for the last 21 years, Pookie, has really took a major mental nerf into wanting to create content, trying to get over that. But now we're back. It has been a couple weeks now. I started a project just before the last new moon and hopefully be able to continue it tonight. This is a very, very tough one, especially from a Bortle 5 location, like the one I live in. Most people do this target in at least Bortle 2s or even Bortle 1s out in the middle of the desert to be able to capture this dark nebula. So tonight, join me in continuing capturing data on the Dark Shark Nebula. Now the Dark Shark Nebula is a dark nebula located in the constellation of Cepheus, not terribly far away from the Iris Nebula or one of my all-time favorite reflection nebulas, the Gubadagian Nebula. Thank you the Kent Blackwell for showing me that about a decade ago. But it is a dark nebula composed of very dark, you know, interstellar gas that is only illuminated by nearby stars in the region, why they call it a dark nebula. Now, the special thing about this dark nebula, it's in the shape of a shark. Looks like a Mako to me, if you say, if you ask myself, but yeah, we're going to be going after the shark nebula. I did start this about a couple weeks ago when the last new moon occurred. We're still about the last quarter right now, and it's about safe to say before more days and days of rain are on the way, I'd we'll like to try and get some more data to finish it up because I'm not quite happy with it yet. I got about seven hours worth on this target. I'm trying to get about 15 or so to really start bringing this out. So join me tonight as we capture a dark shark in the sky known as LDN 1235. Now tonight to be capturing the Dark Shark Nebula, I will be using my 60mm Ampatura EDR doublet refractor on top of an Ioptron Gem 28 with a new 6 inch pier that I just got a couple of weeks ago. Also we'll be combining using the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro one shot color camera with the ZWO automatic electronic focuser and of course I will be using my trusty ZWO ASI Air Plus to capture all the data needed for tonight and then I will be auto guiding with the ZWO ASI 120mm Mini with a SV Bonny 30mm guide scope. Now as we patiently await nightfall, let's get ready to go shark hunting. Now we just wait for our target to get over the trees there and we'll begin shooting. Well, it's 
the next morning here. I got about five extra hours of data on this since the nights are getting a lot shorter now. Sunrise is not too long after 5.30 and by the time that this object gets above the trees here it's about almost midnight. So I got about five hours worth of extra data to add to the already seven that I have. Going to be doing some flat frames right now for the calibration, and we're going to add all this data together and see what it looks like afterward. Well, after I just got done stacking the data and processing the image, I come to find out I actually had a lot more data than I thought. So, here, enjoy the final product of the Dark Shark Nebula after 18 hours of data. Hope you like it, and remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and see what you'd like me to do for the next video. I'll see you next time and clear skies.